I'm Tiana McLeese in the Newswatch newsroom. Coming up, a big time block party in North Hollywood. Jay, I'm in the 4,000 block of Topo Drive where the home invasion just took place. Now, police have released a composite sketch of the suspect who they say is extremely dangerous. I'm Tiana McLeese in Baldwin Hills. Steve Harvey's in town and he's collecting toys for the kids. That story on Newswatch. Now, organizers say the wildfires last month have upped the ante for donations. When Aldredi showed up to the house last night, the mother ran into the back house to call 911. Those stories and more coming up next on Newswatch. Good afternoon. I'm Tiana McLeese in the Newswatch newsroom. Topping the news at this hour, the search for a fugitive who abducted his own daughter from her North Hollywood home. The suspect has a violent past, and now family members are making a desperate plea for the man to turn himself in. Take a very close look at this man, 28-year-old Raul Aldredi. He's a fugitive who police say kidnapped his 11-month-old daughter, Deanna. She's been gone since last night. Her mother was too scared to talk to us on camera, but from Deanna's bedroom window, she talked about how the ordeal has been overwhelming. I'm tired. I've been awake all night. You know, the cops said they were going to have somebody or surveillance in my house. Three in the morning, they tell me, oh, we're leaving. I'm like... What am I supposed to do? They were just call us. They said, okay, so when it's busy and if anything happens, oh, yeah, well, what can we do? Aldredi already has a $4 million warrant out for his arrest and had recently been profiled on America's Most Wanted for rape, kidnap, and torture charges in connection with the crime committed earlier this year in Pomona. L.A. Detective Jesse Ojeda says that's why finding Aldredi and baby Deanna is a top priority. Any idea where he may be? Uh, we believe that he might have possibly gone to Mexico at this time. Why do you believe that? Because uh, he was arrested earlier this year in Mexico and released by a, a Mexican judge, and because uh, we know that he has family in Mexico. When Aldredi showed up to the house last night, the mother ran into the back house to call 911, but she left the baby up front thinking she would be safe. But when she returned, Deanna was gone. You don't think he would harm the baby, do you? No. No? Shortly after he took off, Aldredi called Deanna's mother and told her he would return the baby after her first birthday on Christmas Eve. But the baby's grandfather issued this plea for Aldredi to bring the baby back home immediately. Just hoping that she's okay, that she's, you know, fed or, you know, he thinks, uh, asking him to think good, that's his daughter, to, to bring him back to his mother, what's he going to do, you know, to feed him, her pampers, she's probably crying all over right now. If you see Aldredi, police say do not approach him. Call police immediately at 1-877-LAWFUL. In other news, celebrities brought in the Christmas spirit with toys and clothes and a lot of laughs. I talked with the stars about why they love to give. It was all about kids and Christmas toys for funny man Steve Harvey. Today, he and a host of celebrity friends kicked off his second annual holiday toy drive in the Crenshaw Baldwin Hills Plaza. I talked with Laker great Magic Johnson about why he gets involved every year. What brings him out today? Well, Steve Harvey, you know, um, he's a friend. I love him. Uh, anytime you're trying to uh, give toys to those who are less fortunate, uh, Steve Harvey has always been a symbol of uh, giving back, a man who uh, was about the community. Just a beautiful thing. You know, the holidays are supposed to be about giving back, and Steve definitely knows what that's about. You know, and I'm, I'm just here to help, here to support. The L.A. Toy Drive has been a successful event for Harvey. Last year, more than 15,000 toys were collected, and he says he will continue serving this part of the city. And what is it about this community that you love? I mean, it's L.A. It's where it all started from. If it wasn't for L.A., there would be no Steve Harvey syndicated show. L.A. made it all happen for me, man. I'll never, ever forget L.A. Just here to just, you know, give back to the, to the community. These are just some of the toys being collected in this year's drive. They're going to be passed out to kids in some of L.A.'s poorest communities. What makes this community so special for you? The people. This is a great town, and this is a, a great community. And here at the Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza, uh, there are uh, a lot of folks uh, that love Steve Harvey and appreciate uh, uh, his generosity. Lulu, my vet, was one of many who donated. Well, I mean, I've always wanted to do it, so, I mean, why not see Steve Harvey? And I enjoy his comedy and whatnot. The toys will be given to local charities. 
In downtown Los Angeles, more stars showed their holiday spirit, and this time they were helping the Salvation Army help others. The holiday spirit literally came ringing into downtown LA this afternoon. Celebrities, city leaders, and folks just wanting to have a good time crowded into Ernst & Young Plaza for the annual Salvation Army's Rotary Bell Ringing event. Seventh Heaven star Stephen Collins was one of them pitching in. It's one of the places I choose to spend my time, you know. Anything I can do to call attention to the work they do, I feel is time well spent. Well, I'm here because uh, to show support for the organization and all the you know, work that they do, and uh, it's uh, the holiday season when we're all uh, to sort of look beyond ourselves. With performances by James Torme, son of legendary singer Mel Torme, the crowd was treated to a free concert. Salvation Army Captain John Stinnett says the event has been put on for more than two decades and raises thousands of dollars each year, touching the lives of hundreds of families. What particular items are you looking for? For the most part, we're looking for donations of food, any kind of food that we can put together in a food box for the families that will last them for about a week or so. Also items for a Christmas meal so that we can make a Christmas meal for the families. And then also toys. Now organizers say the wildfires last month have upped the ante for donations. This year they're hoping to pass out clothing and toys to more than 350,000 families. Familiar Hollywood faces accepted walk-up donations, among them Kate Linder, better known as Esther on the soap opera The Young and the Restless. There are people out there that need help, and, and if, I, if my name will help bring a little bit of notoriety or whatever it is to the cause, then, then I'm there to help because we need all the help we can get. This year, you can also go online and help out the Salvation Army through their online donation program. That's going to do it this afternoon. Thank you for watching Newswatch. I'm Tiana McLeese. Well, Jay, the North Hollywood Street Fair is in full swing, and it's drawing people by the thousands. More than 25,000 people are expected to attend the fair. It features food, performers, and, of course, roller coasters. She's been on every one. The fair closes Sunday night with an hour-long fireworks show. From the Newswatch Newsroom, I'm Tiana McLeese.